Hello and welcome to the Toadstead. Well, we're here on a slightly overcast December morning. And uh, yeah, for you regular followers of the channel, this one's a little out of sequence, I guess you could say. Gonna make this one and share it with you as soon as I possibly can. This is mid-December, I think we're around the 16th-ish. And uh, one year ago, uh, we started the Toadstead channel. And I know there's more than just a few of you that are, have been here since the beginning. And, uh, man, we have accomplished so much. So much. Let's take a look around. Okay. Well, let's see if we can do this. Right about there, right behind the Astro. One of the very first videos we put out was testing the uh, the soil to see, basically the perk test to see how uh, how water moved through the the earth and how uh, and to see what kind of uh, septic system we would be required to have. And if you go back and look at that video, you can see that uh, it looked a little different back then. But that's the spot where it happened. It's right about there, right behind the Astro. And uh, here we are, right behind the boy's Bronco. You can still see a little scar in the earth. Right there is where we ended up putting in the septic tank. And then uh, the leach field goes out, not quite to that barrel, and then turns. You can just see a little bit of a light line where it does that. And uh, yeah, we're taking a little, little retrospective. And once we got the septic tank in, well, it came time for bush hogging. And there's, again, you can follow this along. If you want to watch this video and then stop it and go see the videos that were showed that part, you can. Um, if memory serves me right, not long after we installed the septic system, or just before, we did most of the bush hogging to get it all cleaned up. And that's when we, uh, we found out we actually located via bush hog. Let me see if I can do this without uh, messing stuff up. Put that little tree right there. That, woo, magic finger. That little tree right there in front of the pig pen, that's a pecan tree. And you couldn't even see it when we first got here because of how much, uh, how much garbage was in the way. And then if I very carefully, so I don't try not to get you too ill here, we also found that little pecan tree. Neat little surprise. Well, the next order of business was to get something to stay in while we were up here. And uh, that's when we brought up the Airstream. <laughs> and we did our, uh, our videos on making sure that the, uh, the water, septic, and electrical systems and all that were all set up for this, our little temporary home. And uh, when we brought the Airstream up, the only thing we had on site was that shed. This is a, a little rule violation. <laughs> Normally I would build something like this. But if you go back and watch the video, I'll explain why we... Uh, when I went ahead and bought the, the shed here to get what was supposed to be just garden implements. Ha! And then we started building the privacy fence. Not necessarily because of uh, we wanted privacy because, well, that's just the deal that came up at the time. And of course now the privacy fence has, uh, has moved along. Well, it wasn't long after that that we knew we had to start getting the animals squared away and uh, managed to acquire this chicken coop right here from a friend who was moving. And uh, right about the same time, another friend was replacing a gigantic deck behind his house and he wanted the wood gone and the deck removed so we gladly obliged and that gave us all of the wood you see that uh, the run part of the chicken coop is made out of and it's gone through some changes definitely gone through more than one chicken <laughs> but as you'll see in upcoming videos the uh, the chicken thing is actually doing really well now
Now, one of the first things we moved up here was the bees. And this is one of the original hives. And so is this one. You can see these are my mismatched hives. And uh, this will be there at least definitely this one down here will be its last season. It's just about had it. But uh, out of those two came these and and many others, some of which I, uh, some I lost, some I gave away. Again, there's more than one beekeeping video here on the Toadstead. You can go ahead and check them out. And our, our newest acquisitions. <laughs> grunt, grunt, grunt. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, grunt, grunt. Got the Asabaz. No, it'll be in Hillary. That are getting big. Whew. But uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, we had gotten the deck boards from a, from a friend's that wanted to have, had a big deck they wanted to get rid of. And that allowed us to uh, put together the pig pen. And it's, again, it's coming along. These, these little ones here, yeah, a little, well, he's not very little anymore. But there's the videos out there of these, these, these dudes, dude and dudette arriving. And uh, the fun we had with them. And they're just, hopefully, they will have a family of their own here sometime in the early spring. <laughs> and then there's the single biggest bit of construction which was throwing up the toad shop. And, uh, <laughs> wow, learned a lot. Learned a lot. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it's, it's pretty awesome still. After, yeah, after four or five months, I can't remember how long it's been that we finished it to, uh, to come out here and just look at it. One of the, one of the just great things about putting together your own place and uh, you need great things because it's a lot of work, a lot of a uh, lot of headaches, ups, downs, sometimes a bit of tears and frustration. But when you can come out and just look, and uh, believe it or not, one of the other cool times is when it's pouring down rain and you're in there. Sounds a little like a kettle drum. It's a metal building, but uh, being inside and doing stuff in a building that you built just feels just uh, it just feels different than one that you buy and it's it's a lot of fun just to come out and look around and we're just now we're inside obviously and uh, it's kind of a cloudy day but I've got the LED lights on <laughs> and yeah it's just neat it's starting to slowly come together we can see we've got the router table area and some of its stuff the lathe is slowly getting put the way we want it. Um, got a temporary chop saw table set up there. Uh, got a couple cabinets. I picked these up off of Craigslist. They're the office style. Um, 20 bucks for both of them. And they work. And we'll be incorporating those into the storage of the shop here. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh yes, yeah, so we're going to be making cheese in here tomorrow. And we made bee food in here just recently. This is the neighbor's uh, lawnmower. We're storing it for her until she gets a place for it. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but uh, it sounds like the U.S. Army is out buzzing around today. It's a pretty heavy helicopter. Yeah, yeah, I just... As is with many shops, many projects just kind of sitting around all getting done one by one. But very, very happy with the way this is going so far. A lot of work, but definitely a lot of satisfaction. And I forget if it was Wyatt or who it was that asked, you know, do we have a lounge area in the shop? Yeah, right now it's right here. Where we can just kind of hang out and BS in between doing things. Okay, well, here we are on the in one of the back corners, and uh, 
some people say I never showed a real overview of it so I figured I'd do that that's a neighbor over there there's another neighbor through the trees there would be a neighbor there but there's nobody living in that piece I think that piece of land is for sale this land is owned by a very good friend of mine and you can see the border coming down here and it's not fenced but that border takes off all the way there's a small road just inside these trees and uh, everything on that side of the borders the neighbors everything on this side of the borders is the toadsteads and the toadstead land follows that border all the way over to the road that's also back over there so we have like an L shape here and we'll be developing this someday in the future we're considering everything from more bees to uh, maybe putting a, a, a steer out there um, definitely goats in the future um, more gardens oh and by the way I haven't done a video about it yet but uh, I don't know if you can see that lighter colored or darker colored green right there that's a clover patch that we're letting grow this winter it's a uh, crimson clover we want to see if we can uh, grow that because amongst the things we want to do in the future besides the obvious which is to work on the cabin right here and get rid of the airstream is we want us we want to get into growing silage we want to see if we can do that we want to grow clover for the bees potential goats um, you know our winter garden is over here is doing okay we don't have a whole lot of time but we're learning and then we and that's wow there's just so much before I go any further I just want to say thanks to everybody who uh, has been coming along for the ride been able to watch one two videos maybe you watched them all got some folks that have been amazing and and stuck around throughout everything so far I want to say thanks to y'all really appreciate that that's what makes you know taking the time to do this a lot of fun yeah it's hard for me just to I look I look at it and see more of what it's what it's going to be so there you go the toadstead year one some animals a place to work basic living when we can and uh, man we are hoping for an even better 2017 sure do hope y'all come along for the ride so do that tell your friends let them come along for the ride the more the merrier I want to learn more the more of us get together and communicate the more we can learn and the more we can share but I'm gonna finally shut my app and just say y'all have a great holiday season spend as much time as you can with folks and uh, we'll keep putting out videos and we'll see you in 2017.